So it is officially hunting season, which means Austin's gone, <laughs> which is fine. Um, so we got Burndale next weekend, our annual Burndale show. Um, I don't do a lot of shows anymore. I used to go like two to three shows a week. Um, that was a lot of traveling, a lot of money spent. I earned a lot as well. Uh, but I also had a lot better horse at that point. Uh, Pepper is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I I wouldn't trade Pepper for the world. Uh, but competition-wise, meh. She's, she's cute. Um, I haven't really worked on a lot of pattern stuff with her. And the stuff I have done, I kind of fucked myself over with. And I, I did it really half-assed. Because I thought I was selling her to just be a goofy kid's horse. Not keeping her to be my spare and my husband's horse. So now I'm like, oh, okay. So, because um, I'd only taken her on the pattern like two, three times. Uh, or have only taken her on the pattern two, three times. So now I have to fix that, which won't be a big deal, but she definitely, uh, she's definitely worse than most of my starter horses. I just never saw a lot of potential in her for gaming. Gaming? So I never thought to push her in that direction. Um, you know, she knows how to move off of her shoulder and stuff and stuff like that. But she apparently decided to pick up habits after only two to three times of practicing uh, the barrels. <laughs> so now I just, the big thing is she likes to drop her shoulder, um, which I can fix. It's fine. Um, but now she's cranky around the barrel. Um, so I'm actually making her do stuff around it. She's like... Um, although she's just generally cranky, period. Uh, I don't know how many times she walks up to me for pets, and I give her, like, a little hug, and then she just pits her ears, so. She's just a cranky bug. Um, but, um, so we're gonna practice this weekend, or today, actually, um, Saturday. Uh, so it is deer opener, so we're gonna make sure to stay close to the arena, and we're not gonna venture off of the arena, and stuff like that. Um. But, uh, <clears throat> but as far as, uh, as Aurora is concerned, this will be like the first time Aurora has seen it, so I won't be as goofy as I was with Pepper. Hey guys, so it is December 5th, I don't know, I, I really suck at taking videos and I'm really trying to get better, a um, lot of stuff's been happening, Kyle's been in and out of the hospital, 
Uh, this whole weekend we spent basically in the emergency room. It was fun. It was so much fun. Um, Cal, I don't know if you guys know that Cal left, but Cal left and went to breed somebody else's ewes. They rented them out. Um, so he's back home now. Somewhere in here. There he is. Hi, buddy. Hi, Cal. Hi, buddy. Yeah, he's looking at the dogs. Um, so he's back tonight. Um, I don't think I've showed you guys the new setup. I know I have pictures of it somewhere, but here's our new setup. We've got Harper and Peppermint. Look how big Peppermint's gotten in here. Um, <laughs> Crunch went to butcher <laughs> on first, so he's gone. Uh, Peppermint, I think, gets butchered this weekend. Um, here's Penny. Hi, Penny. Hi, sweetie. And uh, basically just trying to see how everybody's doing. Um, hoping that everybody got knocked up that was supposed to get knocked up. No idea if they did or not. <laughs> Fingers crossed, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, I'll get some video tomorrow morning, because uh, it's nighttime right now, so can't see anything, um, of our horses set up. Um, it's, it's a thing. That's all I got. Um, it, they won't die, um, but I can't wait till we get something a little better. But you know, it all takes time. this morning when we woke up everything was fine and then our neighbors came and told us our sheep were out so we just got done reinforcing the ram pen so hopefully that doesn't happen again Perfectly golden biscuits, bacon, steamed eggs, gravy, and a hot ass fire. <laughs> 